Mont, which is the head owner. Uh, I would like to start my presentation uh, with a question uh, about these two statements, <coughs> which might seem obvious to all of us if we achieve a response in cancer treatment. We say that our therapy works. And of course, in some cases, we fail to achieve response. We just say that uh, our therapy doesn't work. Uh, I'm not going to challenge the first statement. There's no doubt that in some patients we achieve uh, the response. And even some patients are cured by current treatment modalities. But I to, I'd like to challenge the second statement. And I would like to uh, overview evidence showing that in those cases when a therapy doesn't, uh, but when we do not uh, achieve positive therapy, we have effect to the therapy. In those cases, actually, a therapy may have cancer promoting effects and even decrease the survival of patients. So, I would like to overview evidence that situation in present gaping treatment is uh, much darker, like in this medieval street of Venus. <laughs> Let's begin with surgery. There is no doubt that surgery is the most effective primary modality of cancer treatment. But most surgeons, most cancer surgeons, have observed rapid tumor regrowth or spread of metastasis uh, after the. Uh, removal of primary tumor. It was maybe uh, just an impression, but um, experimental evidence tells us that um, tube growth of the residual tumor may be enhanced and metastasis may uh, spread after removal of primary tumor. You see, there's quite a number of uh, reports about that. For obvious ethical reasons, uh, it is impossible to perform a comparative trial in human patients to see if uh, surgery can provoke metastatic spread. But some in indirect evidence already exists that surgery provokes activation of latent metastasis in breast cancer. Uh, this is um, based on the fact that um, uh, primary patients, bring the best cancer patients who present with the primary tumor along with distant metastasis, uh, such patients are quite rare. Actually, there are less than 7% of primary breast cancer who present both with the primary tumor and with metastasis. But after 18 months of diagnosis and therapy, uh, this percentage of patients with distance metastasis grows up to 25%. So this increase in metastasis per perhaps can only be explained uh, that surgery provokes activation of latent metastasis in terms of breast cancer. Uh, radiotherapy, uh, as you know, is a widely used modality of cancer treatment. Uh, that about two thirds of cancer patients will receive radiotherapy at some point in their life. But as we know, uh, radio, uh, ionizing radiation induces DNA damage uh, by uh, inducing uh, breaks in uh, one of two DNA uh, strands. And this radiation damage to uh, damage uh, cells uh, can initiate development of second tumors. And secondary tumors are well documented after radiotherapy of retinoblastoma, testicular cancer, Hodgkin disease, uh, prostate cancer. Actually, <coughs> from all these tumors in which we uh, get relatively long survival. Uh, well, um, of course, um, the, the, well, I, I, I like to mention that uh, incidence of secondary. Uh, Humans after radiotherapy is relatively low, and these secondary tumors do not really develop earlier than uh, 10 years after radiotherapy. So, uh, in that sense, radiotherapy as a treatment modality seems uh, 
uh, uh, quite justified. But uh, again, the experimental evidence shows that similarly to surgical removal of primary tumor, um, you may observe explosive growth of previously dormant metastasis. So, in fact, radiotherapy may also have uh, cancer promotion effect. Uh, chemotherapy, we know, provided curative treatments in some forms of cancer. Uh, such as uh, acute childhood leukemia, uh, Hodgkin's disease, testicular cancer, uh, these forms that were uh, fatal previously. But um, uh, one of the arguments of chemotherapeutic success is that cytotoxic agents are themselves carcinogenic. It's well known that. Uh, especially with alkylating uh, agents and also with other toxic agents, uh, we can induce uh, uh, tumors. And uh, secondary tumors after chemotherapy unknown, like uh, like acute myeloid leukemia, uh, virus uh, non lymphoma, and, and others. Uh, chemotherapy is well known, actually it's notorious for its uh, side effects, uh, some of which may be lethal, like cardiotoxicity. And um, in those cases, when uh, curative, um, when, well, when we do not cure a patient with chemotherapy, in those cases, um, detrimental or regulatory uh, side effects may outweigh modest, modest positive effects of chemotherapy. Um, presently, there is uh, quite ample evidence that survival of cancer patients may depend on, on the immune system, and uh, it is obvious that immune system, uh, uh, cytotoxic agents may, may damage the immune system, um, thereby affecting the risk of relapse. Again, um, um, more clear data are available from uh, experimental research in which um, the stimulation of metastatic spread of the primary tumor um, has been observed uh, after chemotherapy. Uh, 